Hey guys, it's LT from Very Dummy. And uh sorry this video is coming out so late. Uh it's like 9 30. And I basically was bit by uh phone not charge itis. You know when you forget the charging plug in your phone and it doesn't charge so you can't record a video and upload it at like a reasonable hour, like five o'clock. No, it's nine thirty. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to Hopefully, make my final prediction for the WWE men and women's ladder matches. I did one video about two weeks ago predicting who was going to be in it, and then I did it of uh, the people that they announced, and now they changed it again. So, hopefully, this will be the final time we let them change it like Saturday night or something. I'm like, come on, people! Anyway, uh, so I can start with the men's. And so, I'm just gonna go over everyone. In the men's, from SmackDown, we have Andrade San Almas, Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, the Intercontinental Champion, mind you, so he won't be defending his belt, and the Viper Randy Orton. And from Raw, we have Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, and newly, Sami Zayn. On Raw, it would uh, fall kind of anywhere with Braun Strowman's spot on the line and Sami Zayn won with the help of Corbin and McIntyre, no less. But Sami Zayn in the Mad Money in the Bank ladder match. This totally changes it. Um, because you had Strowman, the big strong powerhouse, but um, he's not in it now. So I see Ricochet and Ali and Bauer and Andrade. Just sort of doing all the high flying ladder stuff. Or tend sort of like to be the veteran to tell everyone what to do, basically. Because he won one of these and been there for like 17 ish years or something like that. And so I see him being like the veteran. And so uh, let's go through this. I don't see Andrade winning and I don't see Finn Balor winning. Because I think they're going to serve a few for the Intercontinental Championship. I think Orton's near the end of his career, and I don't think he should need a Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, never contract. And then, Mustafa Ali. It would be a huge boost for him, but I don't see it. I just don't see Ali. I see him like being the person that gets like almost winning it, and then the person I want to win knocks him off the ladder and grab the briefcase. That's what kind of role I see Mustafa Ali being. Like, get the crowd all excited, and then the bad guy wins. And then for Raw, I don't see Zayn winning it. Even though he's like the new person, Corbin can just go through two ladders and I'd be happy. And Ricochet going to do all the whippy divey stuff. And I see Drew McIntyre pushing Mustafa Ali off the top of the ladder to win a contract. Uh, that's uh, how I see it. And I hope that happens because then I would be correct. And I like being correct. And then in the ever match, the women's match, on SmackDown. We have, uh, Bailey. We have Ember Moon, we have Carmella, and we have Mandy Rose. And from Raw, we have, Dana Brooke, Naomi, Natalia, and newly, uh, Nikki Cross. It was supposed to be Alexa Bliss, but she's been injured lately. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I actually picked her to win him. I ever won, I had McIntyre winning. But, I, that stayed the same, but I had a lesser winning, so, no, this totally threw the monkey wrench into it. So, I get to it, I don't see Mandy Rose winning. I see, maybe, Sonya Deville costing her the title, I mean, the great case. So, she's out. Bailey, uh, I don't see her as a serious threat, honestly, she just hugs people. I don't see her running in and cashing in on someone. Sorry, Bailey, but, no, I don't see you winning. Um... Nikki Cross, I don't think she'll win. Or maybe like Alexa might come in and help her several out or something like Nikki did for Alexa on Raw. Maybe. Um, Dana Brooke, absolutely not. I don't see that. Natalia, the veteran like Randy Orton, uh, knows what she's doing in the ring. You know she's never been in a lot of match, but. And uh, so I don't see Natalia winning it. I don't see Dana Brooke winning it. And Naomi. Can do like the Ricochet, Mustafa Ali, Finn Bauer stuff and just fly everywhere. And so I don't see Naomi winning it. And so uh, Carmella, not. I don't see her winning it. 
So, down to Nikki Cross and Ember Moon. And I wouldn't be mad if Ember Moon got the briefcase, honestly. If Ember Moon got the contract, I wouldn't care. Uh, she deserved it. She did a good wrestler, and the Eclipse is so beautiful. I tried to do like a high up, so everybody wasn't even gonna try. Beautiful! <laughs> yeah, that, that's my attempt. That's why I didn't attempt it in the first place. So, to recap, I have Drew McIntyre winning the men's one from Raw. I have Emma Moon winning the SmackDown briefcase. And, uh, we'll see. I see McIntyre catching on Rollins after he beats AJ Styles. Uh, and they can start a feud. And Ember can cash on Charlotte. I see Charlotte beating Becky. That'd be an interesting feud between Charlotte and Ember Moon. That would be very interesting indeed. And then... I wouldn't be mad if Lacey Evans beat Becky. So, yeah. So those are some quick prediction predictions. Predictions. I might do a full one, but you never know. Uh, you know, with school and stuff, have a week left. So exhausted. So much work to do. Projects. Uh, stuff to keep up on. And trying to keep a personal YouTube. Like, a person, a social life. Not a personal life. Social life. And stuff like that. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, go check out my video. All the problems I have with WWE, I address a lot of things. And it's a lot longer than this one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolutely. Bye, guys.